Like and subscribe right now, or you're gonna have terrible luck next week. More than 43,000 different species of spiders are found around the world. Of these, only a small number are said to be dangerous, and less than 30 have been responsible for human deaths. Why are so few spiders harmful to humans? Much of the reason may result from size differences between people and spiders. Spider venom is designed to work on smaller animals, but the venom of some species can produce skin lesions in people or produce allergic reactions that result in fatalities. It is important to understand, however, that death by spider bite is very rare since clinics, poison control centers, and hospitals often have various species-specific anti-venom on hand to treat the bite. Let's talk about the 10 of the world's deadliest spiders. Number 10. The Wolf Spider. The wolf spider is a member of the Lycosa family, and there are around 125 species found in the US and about 50 species in Europe. A full-grown wolf spider is typically half an inch to two inches in length. They are hairy and are usually brown or gray with various stripe-like markings on their backs. They received the name low spider due to an early belief that the spiders would actually hunt their prey in a group. Some other names for the wolf spider are the ground spider and the hunt. Unlike most spiders, wolf spiders do not make webs, but actively hunt for their prey. Even though the wolf spider is poisonous as venom, is not lethal. This spider is not known to be aggressive however, they will bite if they feel like they are in armored danger. If bitten by a wolf spider the wound should not be bandaged, but an ice patch should be placed on the bite to reduce swelling. If necessary the victim should avoid any movement or increased heart rate because it is extremely important to seek medical attention if bitten by a wolf spider. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to top 10 videos and hit the bell icon in the next 5 seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck, give it a shot, it actually works. Number 9. The Northern Funnel Web Spider. The northern funnel web spider of Australia is the largest of this genest reaching sizes over 3 inches long and is most easily distinguished by its habit of dwelling in trees. These spiders are attracted to water and often fall in the swimming pools and this all leads to encounters with homeowners trying to scoop them out of the water. The venom from all funnel web spider species can kill a human within minutes if no anti-venom is available. They carry the toxin called attractotoxins which we just talked about, and exposure to this toxin might result in goosebumps sweating, tingling around the mouth and tongue, twitching, salivation, watery eyes, elevated heart rate, and elevated blood pressure. The final stages of severe envenomation include dilation of the pupils, uncontrolled generalized muscle twitching, unconsciousness, elevated intracranial pressure, and death. This itself makes the funnel web spider one of the most dangerous and poisonous spiders in the world. Number 8. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider. The Six-Eyed Sand Spider is a medium-sized spider with a body measuring 1 to 2 inches and legs measuring up to 4 inches. It is found in deserts and other sandy places in southern Africa, with close relatives found in both Africa and South America. It is a cousin to recluses which are found worldwide. Due to its flattened stands, it is also sometimes known as the six-side crab spider. A bite by this spider on two humans is uncommon, but it's been experimentally shown as lethal to rabbits within 5 to 12 hours. There are no confirmed bites and only two suspected ones on record. However, in one of these cases, the victim lost an arm to massive necrosis, and in the other, the victim died of massive hemorrhaging similar to the effects of a rattlesnake bite. Toxicology studies have demonstrated that the venom is particularly potent with a powerful hemolytic and neurotoxic effect causing blood vessel leakage, thinning of the blood, and tissue destruction. Number 7. The Brown Widow. Now I'm pretty sure nobody's heard at this one. The Brown Widow spider like its cousins the Black Widow Redback Spider and Cattivo are spiders that carry a neurotoxic venom that can cause a set of symptoms known as La Trobe Deck Design. Like many spiders, widows have very poor vision, and they move with difficulty when they're not on their web. Brown wool spiders have relatively spindly legs and deep globular abdomens. The abdomen has one or several red spots either above or below. This boss may take the form of an hourglass or several dots in a row. 
The male widows like most spider species are much smaller than the females and may have a variety of streaks and spots on a brown or less globular abdomen. The males are generally less dangerous than the females but will bite if the web is disturbed and the spider feels threatened. The venom of a brown widow, while set on life-threatening, produces very painful effects including muscle spasms, tetanus-like contractions, and in some cases spinal or cerebral paralysis. This paralysis is generally temporary, but might leave permanent damage to the central nervous system. A serious bite will often require a short hospital stay. Children, the elderly, and ill individuals are at most risk of serious effects. Number 6. Red-Legged Widow. The red-legged widow is a very rare spider that is a member of the black widow family and is highly venomous. According to all literature, this spider is indigenous to South and Central Florida. This colorful spider is less than an inch long but passed the same type of venom as its Hauser widow relatives. It sports a red-orange cephalothorax. Its abdomen is black with yellow rings outlining the rows of red spots, and its legs are per million red. On its underside, it does not have the familiar hourglass markings and instead usually has one or two small red marks. And like with all spiders females are almost double the size of the male. The good news is this spider is so rare that encounters with humans very seldom happen when fights do happen, they are not very pleasant. Bite systems are systemic, spreading through the lymphatic system and usually start about one to three hours after the bite. The most common symptoms are intense pain rigid abdominal muscles, muscle cramping, malaise local sweating nausea vomiting, and hypertension. If left untreated, these bite symptoms usually last from 3 to 5 days. Number 5. The Sydney Funnelweb Spider. This Eastern Australian native spider is one of the most feared venomous animals down under. They're typically 1 to 3 inches long and can be very aggressive when provoked. The long-lived female funnel web spends most of its time, and its silk-lined tubular burrow retreats. The males tend to wander during the warmer months of the year looking for receptive females. The Sydney funnel web spider is responsible for 13 confirmed deaths between 1927 to 1980. The Sydney funnel web spider venom contains a compound known as a tract toxin, a highly toxic channel inhibitor. These spiders simply deliver full venom when they bite often striking repeatedly due to their aggression and their large fangs, and for this reason, people are strongly advised not to approach them. The chances of being bitten are high if encountered. There is at least one recorded case of a small child dying within 15 minutes of a bite from a Sydney funnelweb spider. For very small children, the amount of venom dispersed throughout the body is as much as the concentration in an adult. Fortunately, since the anti-venom was developed in 1980 there have been no recorded fatalities from Sydney funnelweb spider bites, but it's still a good idea to be cautious. Number 4. Chilean Recluse Spider. The Chilean Recluse Spider is a venomous spider closely related to the brown recluse spider. This spider is considered by many to be the most dangerous of the recluse spiders, and its bite is known to frequently result in severe systemic reactions, including death. As a Jezza by its name, this spider is not aggressive, and usually by its pressed against human skin, such as when putting on an article of clothing. Like all recluse spiders, the venom of the Chilean recluse contains the dermonecrotic agent which is otherwise found only in a few pathogenic bacteria. Some bites are minor with no necrosis, but a small number of bites have produced severe dermonecrotic lesions or even systemic conditions, sometimes resulting in renal failure. And about 4% of cases in a clinical study in Chile, the victims actually died. Number 3. The Brown Recluse. The Brown Recluse Spider, also known as Violin Spiders, Fiddler, or Fiddlebacks from the dark violin-shaped marking on the head, are slow-moving, retiring spiders that wander about in dim areas. Most encounters with this spider occur from moving boxes or rooting about in closets or under beds. The range of the brown recluse in the U.S. is mostly restricted to the Midwest, South, and Southeast, like in my hometown of Tucson. However, a number of related recluse spiders are found in Southern California and nearby areas as well. The bite of a brown recluse is extremely venomous and has led to fatalities through massive tissue loss and the subsequent infection. 
Sadly, fatalities from brown recluse spiders have been reported only in children younger than seven years of age. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take me five seconds to complete. So here's the deal you just leave a like on this video smash that subscribes button and hit the notification bell and you'll get 15 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 2. The Fringed Ornamental Tarantula. The Fringed Ornamental Tarantula is a large and stunning species with the ability to reach over 10 inches, some reporting 12. It is quite a sight to behold indeed. It is suggested that this species is enjoyed reviewing, and you should really know what you're doing to take hold of one. A single bite from this tiny spider will earn you a trip to the local hospital. Although there has never been a recorded death from any tarantula bite, this species is considered to have a medically significant fight with venom that may cause intense pain and extreme muscle cramping, judging from the experience of keepers bitten by this species. They move rapidly and, although they generally prefer flight to fighting, may attack when cornered. For instance, in a recent incident reported in the journal Toxic, which is an excellent resource for those interested in venom and venomous creatures, a man in Switzerland was bitten on the finger while feeding his pet tarantula. He felt little pain at the time but experienced hot flashes two hours later. Within 15 hours he was hospitalized with muscle spasms and chest pain, he was treated with muscle relaxers, but muscle cramps continued for an additional three weeks. Number 1. The Brazilian Wandering Spider. The Brazilian Wandering Spider is a large brown spider similar to a North American wolf spider, but bigger and possessing a more toxic venom. It has the most neurologically active venom of all spiders, and is regarded as the most dangerous spider in the world. Brazilian Wandering Spiders are is an active hunter and travels a lot, they tend to crawl under cozy comfortable places for the night and sometimes grow into fruits and flowers that humans consume and cultivate. If the spider has a reason to be alarmed, it will bite in order to protect itself, but unless started over-aggravated, most bites will be delivered drier without bena. Venom bites will occur if the spider is pressed against something or hurts. In this case, the high levels of serotonin contained in the venom will deliver a very painful bite that can result in muscle shock. Occasional deaths have occurred even after anti-venom treatment. Children are more sensitive to the bites of wandering spiders that the spiders often make threatening gestures such as raising their legs or hopping sideways on the ground, which might entice a curious child. Children have weaker immune systems as well, and even if anti-venom is quickly administered, death can occur within minutes after the bite. Which venomous spider are you most fascinated? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos like this? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more amazing videos.